Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can troubleshoot your table. So sometimes you might have a table and you can't work out what's going on and it's driving you crazy. So I've got a table here with lots of things that are wrong with it. There's things that aren't in the center, there's border lines which aren't lined up, there's gaps underneath certain words, some of them just look out of alignment and you simply can't work out what's going wrong. So the first thing you need to do with your table is to go up to the home tab, go over to this icon here which is formatting marks and click. And here you'll see lots of blue icons which appear across your table. The next thing to do is to select the table, go to table design, Go over to borders, click on the drop down and go all the way down and select view grid lines. Now with those two things highlighted, you can now see exactly what's going on in your table. So for every little dot, there is a space. So you can see this number two is slightly misaligned to the other titles. So you can see there's only one space between each title and the number. And here we have three. So we need to take out two of those just by deleting them. The next is this north and this number 10, it's not quite lined up. So we select these two cells, click on this line here and drag it over to line up with the remaining cells. Then here we have south, you can see there's a gap underneath and that's because there's a return key here. So select the space down below, you can see my cursor's down there, just hit the delete key and then you can delete that return key sign and then that will line up perfectly. The next thing is we've got these two here. Now these two don't have a line between them and that's because these two cells have been merged together which is why we can't see a line. Now if you look at the cells below you can see there's a dotted line here which means these are actually two separate cells but all we've done is take out the borderline that shows so let's correct this top one first and split it back into two cells. So make sure your cursor is inside this cell. Go to layout, go to split cells, and we want to keep one column, not two, but we want two rows and click OK. Now you can see that both of those words have gone to the top cell. So select this word, click and drag it down to that cell. You can see here we've still got this return key sign. So select below the word and then press delete twice and it will get rid of that for you. Over here you can see the one is misaligned and that's again because we've got two spaces in front. So just delete those. Down here we've got a 40 which is misaligned and you know some people would put the spaces in. But you can see that's not the case with the ones above. So this one just hasn't been aligned. So select it, go to layout and go over to these alignment tools here and just click the one you want, which is center align. And then we've got this gap at the bottom here and that's all because once again, we've got a return key here. So again, we just need to delete that and then we can correct it to line up with everything else. And then just to go back, we've got a grid line. We've got a border line missing here. You can see it's just dotted, which is just the grid line. If we select those two cells, go to table design, go along to borders, click on the drop down and then check inside horizontal borders. And then you can see that borderline will return. Once you're done, go to the home tab and just uncheck the formatting mark tool. So the final thing on view is you can see that the columns are not the same width. So if you want all your columns the same width, select the table, go to layout and go down to distribute columns. And there, they're all exactly the same size. So that's just a quick lesson on how you can see what exactly is going on in your table to try to rectify some of the problems and return it to the way you want it to look. I hope that's helped today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.